Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a volcano eruption update in spectacular fashion, Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. You're looking at the eruption of Aso Volcano in Japan, and we'll get back to that. Mount Aso in southwestern Japan erupts about 14 hours ago. No injuries reported. An eruption was observed Wednesday at Mount Aso in southwestern Japan, but 16 climbers on the volcano at the time walked away uninjured. And we're going to see some evidence of them running away, <laughs> authorities said Tuesday. The eruption occurred at 11.43 a.m. at the number one Nakadaki crater, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency. And we're going to take a closer look at the volcano and the eruption. So quick, let's take a look at the eruption and some of the footage that they have, as well as the audio and what you're going to first see is an explosion here on the left, followed by a central vent eruption. Now, the beauty of this eruption is that the weather is blowing so hard here to the right that none of these people are going to be affected. You can actually watch the gases move to the right if you watch a longer eruption. Now you're gonna see here some of the climbers on the bottom of the screen. Let's go back there, running off from the ridge. Actually, they're off of the picture here. I can move it up. There they are down at the bottom, running away from the explosion. So we'll leave you links to all of this footage below for you to enjoy. Now this wasn't a particularly large eruption, VEI-1 or potentially VEI-2. This is all it is. It's, it's basically as high as La Palma's erupting, nothing higher, but just one big puff of smoke and ash, which is pretty typical of this. You can hear some of the background noise there. So pretty spectacular eruption here. Come give them a thumbs up at Nature News. Subscribe to the channel. Tell them Diamond sent you. And we'll quickly go over the update. Sudden, sudden large explosion this morning. A strong explosion occurred around 1143 local time. We went over that. The column of ash went several kilometers in height, as well as a dense ground-hugging circular base surge. This was not pyroclastic flow. This was dust and ash moving out at high speeds, typically referred to as Nouet Ardent. Um, which can be very hot and burn the flesh right off your bone. But in this case, it was a very low-level eruption. Now, as far as Aso is concerned, in the historic past, it doesn't blow that big. The, mo the largest eruption in the last 100 years was on October 7th of 2016 at VEI-3. And then since then, we had an April 16th, 2019 eruption at VEI-2. This will probably come in at VEI-1 or 2 based on all of the data that comes in from the amount of material that was ejected. So low level eruption, this, this volcano, albeit is the largest volcano in Japan and one of the largest active volcanoes on earth, but it does not explode in any uh, impressive ways. VEI-2 is the standard, VEI-3 occasionally, but no major destructive eruptions have occurred historically from this volcano. Now, a big update coming just moments ago, Manam blasting to 50,000 feet, potentially into the stratosphere. This explosive activity is continuing with an ongoing eruption that's been happening for four years. I didn't. I don't know if you know. We'll get. O we'll go over that in just a moment. Now, explosive activity happening this morning, according to Vok Darwin, warned that a volcanic ash plume rose up 50,000 feet or 1,520 meters to flight level 500 and is moving at 10 knots. Look at that amount of ash and uh, dust displaced up into the atmosphere and stratosphere. There. Here is the volcanic ash advisory coming out at 4:15 UTC today, where the uh, Aviation color code is red. The info source was confirmed with Himawari 8. And that plume, the ash is from 18,000 to 50,000 feet, according to this update. Now, Papua New Guinea, Manam Volcano, the last major eruption was the 10th of December in 2018. And according to data sources, we'll come over here to the eruptive history. This has been an ongoing eruption. So from 2014 to 2015, October 15 was the big boom. That was a VEI-4, but it says continuing. So we'll get a new start date here as of now for the new explosive. I mean, a 50,000-foot plume is definitely starting at VEI-1. 
two or higher. And you can see here the last two of three eruptions since 2004 have been VEI-4. So this could very well be a VEI-4 eruption coming from Manam. So that's a big heads up to Manam. Now, La Palma, quick update here. According to sources, the eruption continues with no end in sight. According to us, there is definitely an end in sight. Simply, if you look at the eruptive nature and the effusive nature of the lava, there is less and less lava coming out day after day. Not only that, uh, we have a wonderful visual here on some people are wondering why this dark smoke comes out of one vent while lava is coming out of another. It has to do with the elevation of the vents. Here's a great graphic to explain that. Nothing else significant going on there. If we look at the volcanic or the earthquake tremor and the earthquake reports in the last 24 hours, we're sitting at about 100 quakes in the last 24 hours, which is down from 150 quakes about a week and a half ago at the peak. Now, the earthquake intensity is increasing with the 4.8 registering yesterday, but the 4.8 is happening at a very deep depth. If the 4.8 was happening up here at 10 kilometers, we would be very worried about landslides, but they're not. They're happening below 30 kilometers, which is more indicative of deep movement beneath the crust. Now, if we come up to the surface where the magma activity is happening, in the last three days, there is an, a reduced amount of earthquake activity where that magma is coming from. For the last week, we've had a very increased intensity here on this day. Around the 6 a.m. mark each day, there is a flurry of earthquake activity, and that's when the lava increases typically. There was a lull yesterday, but that intensity back at 6 to noon is happening again today. Overall, the earthquake activity is reducing, and we're going to keep a close eye on it. There looks like this volcano, based on historical information, should come to an end within a week or so. Now, if we come over to Iceland, we have two earthquake swarms, one at Astja and the other one at the Reykjanes Ridge, and we're keeping a close eye on increased activity at Iceland for you as well. Just a quick update to keep you up to speed. We have also exploding just 12 hours ago in spectacular fashion. No injuries. Absolutely amazing that there are no injuries reported from the Oslo eruption. Probably VEI 1 or 2. It's looking like VEI 2 to me here. And it typically doesn't erupt any bigger than this. Everyone in that scene is safe. That's good news. The most significant quake of the day and eruption is not Oslo, though. It is, in fact, Manam. Manam exploding to 50,000 feet today. Uh, we have light confirmation with Himawari. We have no visual on the ground. This is a remote area. And it is the second eruption in quite some time. This one's spectacular. Manam to 50,000 feet. And we're keeping a close eye on Iceland for you. As La Palma, well, continues to erupt. Hope you got something out of the video. All the links will be below. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When volcanoes, well, they be exploding as predicted. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons, the heroes that share this video. Be safe, and we'll see you soon. And that's a boom to knowledge. <laughs>